A good weekend to you. Welcome to Leading Edge. I'm Jerry Anderson. Great to have you folks along. Yes, I know the big midterms are yet a year away, but I also know that the race within the race for an open U.S. Senate seat in Ohio happens in May, the Republican primary, and the field is oh so crowded. So today, I want to welcome back to Leading Edge one of the prominent names on the GOP side of the ledger, Jane Timken. Ms. Timken, you were last with us when you were still wearing the hat of Ohio GOP party chairman prior to the 2020 race. By the way, congratulations on a strong Republican showing in Ohio of last year. Now you want to go to the U.S. Senate, a most exclusive 100-member club. So if you were there now, what would you do as we talk late in this week about the country's debt ceiling? Yeah, well, uh, you know, you know, we have raised the debt ceiling so many times in this country, and we are on track to have thirty trillion dollars worth of debt, um, which is an astronomical amount. Um, look, this is always an opportunity to have a, a conversation about how we got here. Uh, I would have voted no. The Democrats have the opportunity to raise the debt ceiling all on their own. They can do it through reconciliation. They're choosing not to do it. Um, and we have already spent so much money this year. Um, I remember back mm -hmm. in March when the Democrats already passed a $2 trillion reconciliation bill. Um, we are in a situation now where inflation is skyrocketing and it has real effects on families. Is it difficult um, for Republicans to play the fiscal conservative hat? You know how much the federal deficit went up under the Donald Trump administration? Oh, well, yes. And, I, and, and look, I, that's where I differ with President Trump and Republicans were in office. I think we spent way too much money. Um, look, I'm in this race because I care about Ohioans. I care about the future of our children and grandchildren. Uh, we are putting our country on a path that is very destructive and um, we cannot sustain this debt. We won't be able to um, really be able to invest in our country anymore. We'll be servicing all of the debt and we'll have to raise taxes, which the Democrats are already doing in this reconciliation bill that they're proposing. One of the highest tax increases in recent history. Tax um, increases is for rich people. Uh, it's going to affect everybody because it's 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 carbon taxes. Everyone drives a car. Everyone heats their home. Um, it's affecting our farmers. Um, they want to uh, really eliminate uh, the uh, the estate tax exemption, which is affecting small businesses and our farming community. The tax on methane emissions from cows. Um, the IRS is going to monitor your bank transactions at $600 a transaction. So you have IRS agents spying on your bank account. Um, no one wants that. All right. Um, when you talk about fiscal conservatism, it, it, you and I both know, this is Jane Timken, folks, um, former Ohio Republican Party chair. She wants to replace Rob Portman in the U.S. Senate. We both know Jane, or Ms. Timken, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know you that well yet. Um, the $3.5 trillion reconcil reconciliation bill, we both know, has a snowball's chance, right? We agree on that. But is there a number? I've heard Manchin talk about $1.5 trillion. Is there a number that you or other Republicans could accept in that bill? Or is none of that social stuff, pre-K, climate change, uh, community college, Medicare expansion. You just got done telling me about we're all concerned about the future and the kids in this country and stuff. A lot of this stuff in that bill would benefit them. Well, look, and, and there's a lot of problems with that bill, as I just articulated. Yeah. Um, the increase in taxes will not benefit families nor their children um, if they can't afford to put food on the table and drive their children to school. Um, it's estimated with our inflationary rate right now, it's costing households $175 per month, which is a real number to families. What is costing $175? I want to be clear on that. $175 per month is the latest estimate of the inflationary rate. So as I said before, we've already passed a $2 trillion reconciliation oh, bill. Yeah. We've spent so much money and it's creating a significant inflationary rate. It, now is not the time. We really need to get our fiscal house in order. We need to make sure that we get our economy up and going again. We have some real issues with supply chain and workforce and raising taxes and spending more money is, is 
the Democrats playbook and it will have disastrous results to this country. That's why I'm in this fight to stand up for Ohio and for our country. All right. On some of these questions, we know Mike Gibbons has been here. Bernie Moreno has been here. My viewers know this. We're, we're thrilled to have you here and we'll have others as well. A lot of the answers sound very, very similar, though, among the leaders on the GOP side of things. So how does Jane Timken separate herself from the pack? We'll find out that and more when Leading Edge continues right after this. <laughs> 